Painting inside the lines is an incredibly important skill when you're working in Photoshop. Now the Save Selection option will allow you to make one of these selections, save it, and then recall it at will. Now this is a great feature. I'd argue, however, that it's a bit slow and a bit cumbersome. In this video, I'll show you an alternative way of saving selections on the fly. The core of this idea lies in the ability to control click on a layer thumbnail, no matter what other layer you're working on, and to have Photoshop draw a selection that is the boundary of that layer. So in this case, I have a layer with a squiggle drawn on it, and I can have that hidden. Control click on its layer thumbnail, and then on any other layer, I can paint inside that boundary. This is a really powerful notion. So say I drew a silhouette of a character, and I wanted to be able to paint inside of that border, and not have to worry about messing up the edges. I could create him as a selection layer, which is just something I like to call it. And then this layer, which I've made red for this example, it only exists to be hidden and then called upon for the selection. So I'll be painting on some other layer, and then I want to work inside of his shape. All I do is control click on that selection layer. and I have his shape. Now where I find this to be the most useful is if I want to paint on a flat layer. So say I have maybe one layer for my entire painting and then three or four selection layers. It allows me to keep my file really small. So I can have maybe one selection layer for the character silhouette, another one for his weapon, and maybe one for the sky in the background. And then I can do all of my painting a single layer so I can I can be painting along all on one layer and then whenever I want to refine an edge control click and I can control H to hide that if I want and then just paint that edge back in so what this me method allows you to do is to spend a long while and define your edge once. Save that as a what I call selection layer and then hide it. And then from that point forward you don't have to worry about retaining that edge ever again. All you have to do is control click and you've got it back again.